This is the latest Uconnect update. It's 8.45.01. It's called Flash Over the Air software update. And it's pretty important that if you have the 8.4 uh, radios, the AN or the A, I think it is, then you're probably going to want to update your radio to this. It's 13 through 17. And you can see the list there that uh, involve, that's involved. But what will happen to your radio if you don't put this update in as of November 3rd they you might notice that your GPS is off your dates off that's the way I noticed mine was the date was off and I had to go in and put the date in manual so uh, this will take care of that this video will walk you through the entire process but if you already know how to do it then don't worry about watching the video but once you get it installed there'll be an over-the-air screen that comes up like this right here and uh, it will tell you that there's an update uh, available and I'm going to put the PDF file and I'm also going to put the link for the uh, to enter your bin number and do the download. Uh, read that PDF file because it's got a lot of good information on this uh, update. So we go to this website here and we enter our bin number as usual and it's going to go through the process of telling us we got an update and it's pretty straightforward. You just download the update anywhere on your hard drive as long as you remember where you put it. I created a file folder called Uconnect, but it can go anywhere. The main thing you want to remember is don't copy that zip file to your thumb drive. You want to unzip it from your hard drive to the thumb drive, and you're going to end up with about six files. Before you unzip the data to that zip drive, you want to format it to a F32 format. And once we got that, we can pull the thumb drive out of the computer and head for the truck. The instructions say to leave your truck idling while you're doing this, but I never do that. I just put it on run, and I keep a, ba a trickle charger on my battery anyway, so it's, it's there's no danger of running it down. But it takes over 20 minutes to do this, so I would not run it. Okay, we're out in the truck. We're going to check and see what update I've had last. So we're going to go to Control Panel and then Settings and uh, scroll down to system information okay you can see up there it says version 17.43.01 that's the last one I had in there so I'm going to insert the disk right now let's see what happens alright so let's hit OK okay the update image is valid and ready for install We're on our way now. And this is about a, oh, they said it could take up to 20 minutes. Notice that I did not start my engine. There's no way I'm going to let my engine idle for 20 minutes. It's just me. I'm leaving my key fob in the vehicle. The ignition turned itself off, so let's see, we'll activate it again and see what's going on. Let's take a look in here. System info, yep, looks like it was successful. You can remove the device. Do you want to reinstall? Nope, we don't. So, I'm going to sign off now with the camera and we're going to remove the USB and that's going to do it for this. Well, that's going to conclude it. Please note that I did 
cut out a lot of the waiting time and I sped up the update as you could probably tell. This is going to do it guys. I appreciate you watching my video and until next time, adios.